Beer, vodka and wine are the most popular types of alcohol drank in Britain. It is estimated that 58% of adults over the age of 16 have drank alcohol in the last week or so. There's no such thing as a safe level of alcohol. That's according to new guidelines on alcohol issued by the government. With the number of drinkers increasing, the number of alcohol-related accidents have increased. 14% of all deaths in road traffic accidents involved at least one drunk driver. So why would you drink? Why not be teetotal? I'm Amber Cottrell and in this documentary I'm going to be finding out about alcohol's effects on those who drink, why some people don't drink, and I'm going to be talking to a pub owner whose job revolves around alcohol. I'm in Bristol, known for its beautiful landscapes, vibrant street art and of course, bustling nightlife. It's the perfect place for university students to let their hair down, with over a hundred different pubs and clubs to visit. So I could understand more about why people enjoy drinking, I decided to meet up with Charmaine. What makes you want to drink when you go out? When I go out I want to drink because obviously I want to enjoy myself more than what I would when I'm not drunk. Because when I'm drunk I'm quite funny. Has there ever been a time when you have regretted having too much to drink? Yeah. When? When I get too drunk. And I start to call people and tell them that I love them, even if I don't speak to them anymore. <laughs> Has that made some awkward situations after? Too many awkward situations. <laughs> when was the first time you started drinking? It's gonna sound really bad, but I was in year seven. This kid bought in some fat black for him, I think it was, and we all drank in the bottom of the field, but it's more of a um, social kind of thing, like you do it because all your mates are doing it and no one thought about the consequences afterwards. And What were the consequences? Everyone got expelled. Why don't you stop drinking? What is it that makes you want to drink? The taste and the thoughts whilst drinking. Why is it so important that you don't want to stop? Well, I can stop, but it's just fun if I don't. So Charmaine likes to drink while socialising. But what if that enjoyment of drinking while socialising became a general love for drinking? Binge drinking, it can infect both your physical and mental health. See, alcohol's fermentation process creates a psychoactive drug which produces a depressant effect on the brain, which, if consumed for a long amount of time, can permanently affect the health of your brain. Alcoholism is something that affects roughly 33% of adults in the UK. So why not just stop drinking? Why not just go sober? Well. An equivalent of 18% of the UK's population doesn't drink alcohol. Why? What is it that people don't like about drinking alcohol? I had all these questions, so I decided to talk to Albert, someone who hasn't drank for years. I wanted to know why he doesn't drink and how it helps him. What makes you not want to drink when you go out? Oh, uh, well, basically, it's just simple. I don't like the test. How alcohol is, so basically, that's make me not drink. Why is not drinking better than drinking alcohol, in your opinion? Um, well, uh, first is really bad for your health. Every single time you drink, you kill neurons. To be honest, I think I, I probably people will think you don't need alcohol to have fun. Basically, you can't have fun in any way. So, so just the, the misunderstood idea where you have now that you must do get drunk every single time when you drink. It's not. You can drink socially and have fun without getting drunk. To be honest, I never been a person to drink. Uh, I I must to declare I've been just drink two times in my life. It's just it's something personal. To be honest, it's a, it's my decision. It's not something about you know I think I'm superior than other ones. I think. Uh, you're more dumb because you drink. I just think it's just my, my decision and that's it. You know, we, we we look at the same stuff every single day on the street. I think a person believes in kind of religion. So it's not something that I can, you know, I'm not gonna lie about it and say like, uh, okay, this is bad. Because when you say something is bad for you or you want to do it, at the first question the, pepper, the, the people say is, you have a drink 
you know? It's the same with drugs, and the people say, like, I'm totally against drugs. Yeah, but you have a smoke or something, and you will say no, so how you know it's bad or good? It's just simple, it's just something I don't like, and I don't, I don't do it often. It's not surprising that people decide not to drink. There are many problems that drinking can cause, like liver disease, a problem with blood pressure, and it can cause disturbed sleeps. A study has shown, however, the mix in energy drinks with alcohol affects teenagers' brains the same way as cocaine would, which is a reason out of many why teenagers aren't allowed to drink in public until the age of 18. I wanted to find out what it's like for someone who works in a drinking environment and what they have to say about drinking alcohol. I sat down with a worker from the Lamplighters pub and asked him some questions. Has working at a pub changed your opinion on drinking alcohol? Uh, it's definitely made me more aware of how much I drink. Uh, because you're always around alcohol. Uh, we live at the pub, uh, me and my wife, so the temptation to drink is always there. Uh, so you start to, once the first six months are out of the way, when uh, it was like a new toy, uh, you start to, you're, you're more conscious of how much alcohol you're taking in. Um, locals are always offering you a drink. I'm definitely more mindful of, of how much I drink. And because of that, probably drink slightly less than before I lived in the pub. What do you do to ensure that underage drinking doesn't occur in your pub? Well, it's difficult. It's really difficult. Uh, but we simply run a, uh, you know, we have a, an over 24 policy um, that all the bar staff are trained on. And if we feel that somebody looks under the age of 24, uh, we'll ask them to produce ID. Uh, instead, it, it's also legal, you know, this is a food-led pub. So we have families in um, who we, we know and, and they will want their 16 year old son to have a glass of wine with dinner. Uh, it's perfectly legal for us to serve that as long as they're eating at the time. Uh, what kind of problems do you face when dealing with violent drinkers and does it affect how much you enjoy your job? That's all we're lucky because like I said, we're a food led pub, we're a family pub. Uh, we're off the beaten track so we're not on the high street in Gloucester Road or in Tang, yeah. uh, so we don't get many problems. Yeah. Touch weaponed. It yeah. probably uh, we've been open since October 14, so about two and a half years, and we've had about three three spates of trouble. Um, but in a pub like this, it turns out it's pretty self-managing. Sometimes it's happened with a couple of locals uh, where they've had a falling out, and drink always, uh, you know, doesn't help. Uh, staff again are trained on on how to deal with it. Um, we're living here, so we'll just come down, diffuse the situation, um, take, split them apart, take one away. We won't necessarily kick both out. That's the last thing we want as well, is, is any violence sort of spilling out onto the street. What type of negative and positives are there to working in a pub? Uh, the positives are easily the, uh, the communication and social side with, with the locals. That's always great, working with a good team. The, uh, the negatives are it's, it's pretty intense job. It's sort of apparent we can't have a cake and eat it. Either we're here living it, breathing it, or we should be completely remote and let management manage it. What's the worst thing that you've experienced from drinkers? Getting people out the door. They always want, you know, you tell them, you ring the bell, there's a certain group and you know they always want another drink. To manage that without upsetting them is, is probably, for me anyway, being the hardest, being the hardest thing from it, yeah. Britain is among the worst countries in the world for binge drinking. It's an increasingly big problem and something should be done about it. But what if everyone went teetotal and stopped drinking? Then what would happen to all those pubs? What would happen to the people who work in pubs or off licences? Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether you drink or stay dry.